Hello my friends, here we are on Luminar Neo and today we are editing this photo. Let's see how will we go about it. First when I'm looking at the image I do not like this shade of green. The greens are way too yellow, too neon and it just my person doesn't stand out because that green is just bothering my eye. So I'm going to go into the color and I'll go into the hue and saturation and I am going to take the greens more towards the blues. Um, let's see, I will leave the yellows where they are because there's a lot of yellow and skin tones. But I'm going to take the cyan's a little bit more towards blue. And then I'll go to saturation and bring down the greens, down the cyan's. I will go to the luminance and bring down the greens, something like that. And the same thing with the cyan's. And let's see, that is about it for color. Now the background is also very distracting. So I'm going to try to get rid of a lot of these distractions. And also I want to get rid of this white band that is the sky and the top because that's distracting to me. So first we will go to relight and I am going to darken the far. And that looks good to me. I will paint it out out of the person though. Because I don't want to darken my subject. Let me make the brush bigger. And I'll just roughly just mask it out. All right, that is a good start. Let's go to portrait book and we want to really blur that background to get rid of more distractions. So I'm going to go to 100% and that looks good. I will click on portrait book and then I'll apply it again to 100%. Why doesn't that let me? There you go. So that blurred it even more and that looks good to me. Let's see. So far, this is what we started with and we are here. What else do we want to do? We want to, I want to recover more detail into his beard. So if I go to a hundred percent zoom, you will see we're losing detail here. Everything is kind of blown out and a good tool for that is super contrast. And I'll go to highlight contrast and just bring that to a hundred percent. All right, so here we have the before. Oh, it's still thinking. Before and after the super contrast. Before and after. So we recover a lot of data there. And now I only wanna paint this super contrast on his beard because I don't wanna darken anything else. I just wanted to bring these details back. So I'm gonna paint it on his beard, his mustache, something like that. And let's go back to fit the screen. And this was our before and after. Before and after. You see that super contrast really did a good job there. Now I want to go to structure and just increase the structure a little bit and only paint it on his face because I want to bring out those wrinkles and the age. So let's do that. I'm just going to do it on the face. Okay, let's see. We started with this and we are at this. I think we are heading in the right direction. Now let's take care of the sky band over here. In order to do that, I am going to export this image as it is. I'm going to export it to my downloads and I am going to name it, let's see. Um, I'm just gonna name it number two because it's my second image of it to make it easy. I'm gonna click okay. It's exporting. And now I will go to my edits and load image. I wanna bring it as a layer. So I have my second image. I bring it as a layer 
And now double click it to activate the layer. And I'll put it at 100%. And now you see we have the same layer that we can move around. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the opacity just a little bit so I can see. And I am going to move it out just so I can cover that white part of the sky. Now I will put it on 100% and I'm only going to paint it on the parts that were white. Like this. We're getting a little bit of the hat, but we'll take care of that over there. Okay, so this part obviously doesn't work over here with the hat. So we'll have to bring another layer, the same image. And now this one I am going to move so I don't get part of the hat over there, so I can cover where the hat is. 100% opacity with my paint. And just carefully paint over there to cover that. Okay. Now I'm still left with this right side over here. So I'll bring in another layer. And I'm going to use this left side. It looks like it has a good portion there that I could use. Put it right there. Layer at 100%. I'll take my brush and I will paint those white parts out. Let's see. All right, now we need another patch over here because we got to the edge. So you guessed it, we'll bring another layer and I will move it over here when I need a little patch. And with the paintbrush, I will just paint out this patch. What's happening? Why am I getting double? Right. That is good. I want to go back to my other layer underneath and erase that line that I'm getting here. Okay. And then the layer on top, I am going to erase the other line I'm getting from the edge. There you go. Bring in one more layer just for good measures. This will be the last layer that I'm bringing in, I promise. And I am going to cover what was my last little patch over here. There you go. And that looks good. Now, the thing that distracts my eye is this brightness over here. So we're going to take that down a little bit. I am going to go to my first layer. And I'm going to go to Relight, and I'm going to darken the far. Let's see, not 100%, but negative 74 maybe. And then with the brush, nice big soft brush, I'm just going to paint into these bright areas. Okay, and that is better. Maybe I'll even darken a little bit this side just for fun. All right. So let's see. This is our before and after. Before and after. We can even maybe darken the far one more time a little bit. And we'll paint out the person. You don't have to make a perfect selection, just roughly. There you go. Maybe a little bit more on here. I went too far and there you go. And this is how I would edit this, edit this image. We'll go from here to here. Before and after. I hope this was helpful and you learn a few new tools. 
Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I will see you in my next video.